Hi guys, you're welcome to Tutorial Space with Ola. In today's tutorial, we are going to be proceeding with the previous tutorial, which is this engine, our radial engine. Bear in mind, this should be radial and not rotary. All right, so we would be proceeding with our radial engine and in the tutorial, we are going to be bringing or introducing our cam sub assembly and the appropriate gears for this workflow. So before we go into this, I just want to say that if you are yet to subscribe to this channel, but you have liked the things that you have seen so far and they somewhat interest you, then you should take um, a moment to go over to the subscribe button and subscribe. Remember, subscription is free. So, <laughs> okay. So, for today's tutorial, we are going to be introducing a few parts um, to arrange the gear system for this engine here. All right. So, I go over to place and i bring in my first part from the assembly files which is the cam sub assembly open and i simply place once and click on escape i go back i bring in the other parts um we have okay go back rotary engine so we have the parts we call the planet gear axis LMNOP, the planet gear axis, and then we also bring in our planet wheel. All right, open. We need these um, parts three times. That's for one, two, and three. So I will drop three times one, two, and three, and click on escape. So at this point, we begin placing our constraints. So the first thing to do is I'll bring this planet gear axis and place each of them into um, this hose. So first here and then the second here. All right, so I think it's in the opposite direction. So let's see this, yes. So what we want is for the um smaller part of the cylinder to be outward while the larger part fits into the hole i apply um for now then i do the same for the remaining two one two same thing apply and lastly this hole with this face okay and flip also and apply good so i'll click on cancel i'll drag each of these outward and all right then place constraints between this and this face apply the same with this face and let's see and this face okay apply and also this face with this face my computer is beginning to get slow i think it's because now we have like a lot of parts that it has to load um but then i think we should be able to survive <laughs> all right so i bring this also and place in the corresponding or appropriate positions the cylindrical constraint 
um, this is a gear so the cylindrical constraint between that and each of these um, axles all right so what we want is the flat parts of this to um, go in this direction while the part of the gears that has this um, extrusion should face the forward direction so i apply this i'll repeat the same process this and one of these all right apply and this with this okay and apply then lastly we would have to position each of these properly um, to make them rest on this face here so the constraint again i select on this face um, let's see yep and this apply this <laughs> and this apply and lastly um, let's just select it from here so the back face of this gear um, to mate with this face here. Perfect. Cancel. All right, guys. So at this point, we are just going to do something quite tricky. Um, but before we do that, let's see. I would want to place. Um, okay, before I do that, actually. So what I would like to do now is I would just bring in some bearings and set clips for these three parts here. So I go over to place from content center. And search for shaft parts. Um, set clips. External. And then we will be searching for a DIN6799. That's this part. DIN6799. I click on. Oh, no, no, no. That's a mistake. So we have to first of all place the bearing within. So I will just click on escape and return. To place from content center so i go to bearing we search for roller bearings need to roller bearing yeah this and then we look for a din 618 t1 <laughs> hk so this is din 618 t1 bk but we need the hk that's this din 618 t1 hk i select on this okay um you need to remember that all of these parts are simply engineering standards so um you definitely should not break your head <laughs> and trying to cram what they are because it's not necessary all right so i would select on the um, cylindrical surface of this axle right and i would see then i select on uh, let's see let's see uh, not so sure all right so i select on this backward um oh no i don't think that should be it let's see 
this completely covering um, hold on a little bit let me check this out it needs to cover um, the whole space here all right so that's correct so it, um, you see that it covers the whole thing and so um, so I selected on the circumference um, the surface the surface here I selected on the surface and then also the face of this um, planet gear axis or axu um, which is um, just like this flat surface here so with selecting that I can just click on apply and weirdly I have to do the same thing for the other two parts so I would repeat the process let's see zoom in a little bit select the surface and select the resting plane that's this and check and then lastly i will place for this i would select on this surface and the plane to be this flat plane here and check all right so i have all three bearings and i can click on the escape button so with that done the next thing for me to do is to bring in the circlips so i go back to place from content center sharp parts scroll down circlips um external and we bring in our DIN6799, which is this, okay? So, simple process. Hopefully this just selects all the parts automatically because at this point, my computer is really, really killing. All right, so I select on this little group that you see here, select on this face and select the top face of the bearing um, for the resting point i suppose it's this way yes and apply okay so that's done and i repeat the same process for the remaining i select on the groove here also and pick on this face and apply and the same and lastly i do the same here let's see i select on this face and select on this and apply okay all right I'm actually so glad that we are done with this content center <laughs> at the moment. Um, all right, so I will take this back to the home view. And having done that, the next thing for us to do is to bring in this part and place here. Um, but before we do that, it's well, quite a little bit of um, um, it's a little bit shady. I mean, as you can notice that these parts don't seem to be like, what's going on? Um, if you notice that it's possible that it might not really rotate and based on the dimensions, these two should be um, more meshed than what we have here. Um, but we will just leave this for now. I mean, <laughs> all right, so we see that this also makes a little bit of sense and so let me just rotate this, you know. All right. <laughs> okay. So home view. And we bring in the calm sub assembly and place here. We take our constraint and apply the cylindrical constraint between this and the calm sub assembly. 
right so it's facing the proper position and apply then we would make this part of this that is this face here right and made that with this bottom face here this particular face okay and i'll select and apply um i'll cancel this and let's just see all right so if i change the view of this work visual style i made this shaded with edges or let's just say shaded right and i make this sub assembly let's say uh, edit this and i make this front part um transparent okay and make also the rear cam transparent okay and then we're left with this a return and let's see let's see how good that would show itself so let me change the view back hopefully it does something um technical illustration all right that's not so good um so what i'll do is i'll just say okay let's make this invisible the front cam disk and the rear cam disk also invisible all right so you notice that this also is um, quite not meshing <laughs> so what would i do I'm just going to do a rough work and just rotate it. I think that's pretty much because I'm lazy. <laughs> so I'll just do this. I don't know. Let's just see what works. Um, I just do that. I mean, I'm quite lazy right now. And um, this seems to work quite a little bit. So it looks like this is more meshed than the one below um but you will just maintain and accept it this way you know it doesn't really matter um because this is not like an advanced course um so let's just continue and make this part visible again okay and i'll make them not transparent anymore so right click and uncheck the transparency all right okay so what do we have now the last thing for us to do for this tutorial is to align these pounds which are connected to the push rods and then we'll place the constraints between these pounds that is these parts with the cam sub assembly so i'll go to assemble constraint and i'll apply the tangential constraint and i select on outside so i select the um pound on the right and apply it with this face in front right and this apply yeah um okay pull up wait a minute <laughs> so what i'll do first of all i would select on this part um go into it um select on one of the parts right click and make this adaptive all right um naturally i would say if um oh we're supposed to do like a real animation we would not have created these parts the way we did where we have um multiple elements that were just a pattern of one so what we would have done okay i think this is it so what we would have done is that we would have br brought in the parts and created the assemblies bit by bit that is one by one so we bring in this rod for this part this for this this for this this for this then we apply the constraint again 
so we keep doing all the work over and over again but that's going to take a very long time if we are to do that for a tutorial all right so i've made this part now um adaptive and automatically it makes the rest of them adaptive so if you notice i cannot um change this anymore because they were created from this all right so i place the constraint again and go to tangent the outside i suppose yep and i select on this take note i'm selecting on the pound which is on the right side this one and placing it to mate with this front cam disc all right i click on apply and i do the same for the second and this time around i make it mate with the rear cam disc that is the one behind so um the tangential constraints are already applied they might look a little bit weird right now but don't be bothered um i'll apply this i'll cancel and home view so we have all of these here all right so at this point of the tutorial, I can categorically say that we are 97% done with um, the assembly process. And this is where we are going to be bringing today's tutorial to a halt. And in the next tutorial, which is going to be the last tutorial. <laughs> So in that tutorial, we are going to cover up this and we are going to place the necessary parts, um, the nose, the propeller and um, a weird looking part here, which we modeled. So that's going to be a pretty easy tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed all this so far. And because I have, though it has been challenging, like, <laughs> But then it's interesting seeing this on my screen because I've never done a tutorial or I've never done a project as large as this. All right. So we go ahead to save this. Um, I'll just overwrite the previous um, parts and just say OK. And that would be fine for me. So I want to use this medium to admonish those of you, my friends, while watching these tutorials and enjoying it um if you like the tutorials do not forget to hit on the like button um if it is a tutorial that you consider that um maybe your friends should see it which i think maybe i think that's a good bargain <laughs> then you can share it to your friends and also do not forget to hit on the subscribe button if you have not subscribed yet um remember subscription is free so i'll see you guys in the next tutorial and remember keep watching this space